this is our manu community manu fraternity uh, teaching and non teaching staff officers professors head of the departments and deans they are here and this is an interactive session dr subhash sarkar is a academician also by profession a physician a surgeon but yes interacting with the institutes universities and then academic centers so now here i think uh, before we invite uh, dr subhash sarkar ji i think professor rizwan ahmed would like to i mean read out some something which you know very our faculty and our university is uh, waiting for to hear something from you so you can thank you so much sir very good evening to all of you and uh, uh, very warm welcome to this green and beautiful campus sir it's such an honor having you on our campus today let me have honor to present a brief intro of our university to you sir so this university was established in the year 1998 and uh, this year only we celebrated silver jubilee of our university so we are very young institute though we are very young sir but university has grown by leaps and bounds in this 25 years and this particular year has been very very constructive very very fruitful uh, we have got a plus nag grades uh, this year with 3.36 cgpa which is a rare rare honor for any university so beside this uh, nag accreditation we also got sir this ministry of jal shakti award and we are the second best campus in the country in in terms of water management and sir our students are drawn from all across india and they are performing very well in academics as well as in the cultural activities also students have got president medal and you know if you look at their performances you know uh, after the studies so they are placed you know right from bayer university usa they are adjunct professor there and they are placed in facebook google amazon such as you know big companies they are placed in uh, beside this these achievements sir we have seven schools of studies at our campus 19 departments and 79 programs up to the phd level we offer education ranging from computer science and and, and information technology to journalism mass communication management sciences arts and social sciences education training and languages as well there is a unique mandate of this university we have distance education as well as the regular mode also and one of the unique feature of this university you know we maintain a very good uh, male and female ratio of students uh, you'll be very happy to know sir that we have the 40 60 male and female student ratio and we are striving hard to narrow this gap actually we our effort is to make it 50 50 uh, very soon sir students and faculty members you will find right from kashmir to you know down kerala and then from east to west as well same is the uh, case with the faculty member and the other staff members as well and very keenly for past 3 years university has been implementing nep 2020 vigorously sir and we are so honored to have you for the for this special conversation with the faculty member and the staff of the manu thank you so much for honoring us for being with us today sir assalamu alaikum at the same time namaste namaskar vanakkam namaskaram this right and kurum jari khamma ghani jolo all these are diversity in our country i am very happy to come here whenever i have entered into manu and before that i have also done some homework also your achievements i have come to know and the professor rijwan i was ha huh, rijwan or hai na rizwan sir yeah rizwan sir he has also narrated nicely let us talk together you were the professors you were the captain you were the sailor of the university i would like to listen some of your experiences any <coughs> faculty if you share with your experience there is an emotional at which which narrates 
the emotional attachment between students and yourself and which has changed the direction of the students and something rewarding is there any such an experience koi bacche nahi to koi bacchi ko mon bahman bahut hi kharab ho gaya you being a teacher you have inspired him or her and that has changed his career yes very good first of all sir you will tell your name and the department then sir very good evening i am professor badiuddin ahmed dean school of commerce and business management commerce and management uh, management sciences sir jaisa aapne bataya you have said that a unique uh, feature of uh, my department as a teacher one boy from jharkhand joined mba program in 2008 and after joining the three months he started feeling homesickness and he wanted to withdraw from the course and said i would get back to my home place because uh, i have responsibilities of my mother and four brothers something like that i cannot continue perfect then i personally make take him to the boy to my room and two three days continuously i counsel him and i took him to my home also because i am blessed with the only one son i said you are my second son please do come with me i took him to my home he was with me for two days and after uh, three four days he got relaxed now he changed his mind he continued his education here in this university he completed his mba in 2010 during that he got an opportunity to join with uhg that's united health group company to work as part time something he started earning while studying we permitted him in the evenings after 4 o'clock he worked started working over there he was from jharkhand from small uh, district then he improved a lot over a one year then he after completion of his mba program he himself became an entrepreneur he op- he has started his own business with same health group company he has joined venture no then he has joined we because seeing his talent we have asked him to go for the phd program then he joined phd to our university completed phd in 2015 and then he joined as a adjunct professor what he was telling is sharafat hussain he is in the us and also he is uh, you know doing the business of uh, medical tourism in saudi arabia today he is a very big entrepreneur now he joined his american university in dubai he is a professor over there and every every weekend he calls me and you change my life sir i am representing my, i am ambassador of manu he said that's really i think that i have my achievement of the university thank you so much thank you so much it's a really a pleasure and i think everybody will cherish it yes and sir uh, to add this uh, we have brought him on social media of university platform sir so that he becomes inspiration for the young generation and he shared his all these experiences on social media on university official platform you please uh, give our team his details sure, sure, sure. Okay. Hmm. okay i will also congratulate him sure, sure. 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 professor mahmood siddiqui ah, yes he is uh, he is a very senior professor of education and now also osd2 university in this university thank you very much sir for providing this wonderful opportunity uh, i joined this university in 2008 and i was posted at bhopal we have our constituent college of teacher education there so there when i joined as a principal of that college <clears throat> one boy who came from bihar his name is muzammil hasan <clears throat> and he was a man of science msc in chemistry and his first question was sir why this university provides the programs in urdu language through urdu medium i am a science student and i am not comfortable with urdu medium i told him see this university has been established under the leadership of our prime minister then prime minister of india atal bihari vajpayee ji when he was in the uh, office of the pmo then 
it is for the downtrodden students of Urdu language who are marginalized and who do not have uh, uh, any accommodation in uh, mainstream universities, who cannot go there and who cannot study there. For them, it has been established. You start studying here and you'll enjoy it slowly and gradually. Uh, he said, I'll try my level best, but I'm not very much comfortable with Urdu language. So, sir, those students who, who were from Hindi background, the teachers started teaching them through Urdu, and uh, one special course in Urdu language was also offered to them. Now that boy, after completion of this, he went to uh, Central University, other Central University, he completed MED, then he uh, went to BHU, and from there he got PhD degree, and right now, he is serving in Central University of South Bihar as an assistant professor. And he says, it's Manu, it's Urdu medium, it's the language. Now uh, our NEP 2020-20 also emphasize on uh, medium, uh, mother tongue to be the medium, compulsorily up to eighth standard, and if possible for higher education also. So he said, now uh, I'm in favor of uh, mother tongue to be the medium for all the communities people for the children of all communities, mother tongue should be the medium because concept clarity that comes through mother tongue, no other language can be substitute of it. This is the experiment, sir. Thank that's you, sir. Right. You know, and, and that's how you see we are implementing national education policy 2020 in a, yes. in a, in a big way that, you know, vernacular languages are supporting our cause. Now, Professor and Shugufta would like to say something. Yes. My. Mm -hmm. She is a professor of English and also OSD1. Good evening, yeah. sir. Um, my department also has several students, and most of the students from the university are first generation learners, sir. And when we joined the university, the representation of women was very less, and they were first generation learners, and these have become, these stu girl students have become our ambassadors. They will go back to the remote parts of the districts that they represent, and they inspire other girls to join the university. So I would like to uh, narrate the incident of one such student who represents this background. He comes from uh, um, Ud uh, Udgir, and he was the he son of Udgir, sir. Udgir. Yes, Thank Maharashtra. Udgir. Maharashtra. 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 And he was the son of a cycle mechanic. And today he is an assistant professor in the Central University of um, Gujarat. And he has visited 27 countries internationally and is presenting papers all over. And we have also awarded him the Young Aluminous Award last year, sir. So we have several such students who have success stories to narrate. And I hope we became, make a diary of all those students who are becoming our achievers and our brand sure. ambassadors. Thank you. Okay, very good, very good. Now, Professor One more. Uh, professor Imtiaz has name. Uh, he is uh, Malana Azad Chair Professor. Good evening, sir. I'm a social linguist, sir. Uh, yeah. Social? Social linguist. Social linguist. Okay. I graduated from JNU, Jawaharlal Nehru University. I taught at Aligram Muslim University. Retired last year, December. And I'm here as a Azad Malana Azad Chair Professor. Since February 2023. It's a brief stint of a stay that is there that I have in this with this university. But during this stay, I really gathered a lot of things that I always carry back whenever I go to Aligarh. The first thing that I came across was that this is one university which clearly says that here I am because I'm allowed to use Urdu. I'll just give you an experience which is very recent, two days back. I was, as a chair professor, I'm also introducing, with the, with the support of the vice chancellor, linguistics in the university. And I was taking a class with the BA first semester major linguistics students, and one student from Jharkhand. He is not a linguistics, but he was doing a course in a, a diploma, and he has come to postgraduate post diploma in engineering. And he came to attend my lecture there, which I was holding with other students. Confession that he made was something that struck me. He said that, sir, I'm so happy that I'm also learning something. And I have also been given a dignity to myself that I don't speak English. I speak a language that is spoken in Jharkhand, which does not have any recognition. But I'm really thankful to two things. One, that today I could feel that the new education policy has given us space 
not only to recognize the multilingual and multicultural diversity of the country, but also providing dignity to each language speakers, where they can have a space to come forward and use their language as much as a person who is benefited with the language of hegemony or the, the language of domination. That was one experience that I had. It is and which year's incidents? Just, uh, just two days ago. Two days ago? Just two days ago. When the I student was, is... Uh, he's from Jharkhand. I forget his name. I think Ishtiyakh. Some, some, because I'm, I'm... Just two days ago, I was interacting the with The language him. from the Jharkhand? Jharkhand. There is a, which language you are studying? In, in Jharkhand, he was studying through Eng Hindi or other languages. But his language, personal language is not that. Hmm. His mother language is not that. So he was appreciative of this aspect. So what the, was his mother language? He was, but the mother language was Sadari. Huh? Sadari. Sada? Sadari. Sadari. Yeah, Sadari. Achha. That was his mother language, which didn't have a recognition there. Hmm. So he was at least happy that at least the home language has also been recognized. And that comes because of the opportunity that this NEP, at least, it has given this opportunity. And the second thing that he said was that I didn't have any kind of a shame with me if I'm not able to speak English correctly. Because I'm still allowed to speak in Urdu. And there is no one who laughs at me. This is something which I felt important that a person has a self-confidence in himself with regard to language. Okay. Thank you, sir. OK. Professor Manager. She is director of Education and Dean, School of Education. Uh, sir, my experience is Manu. I will echo the same sentiments. Uh, one case I can talk about is uh, one uh, Sonu Razak. Uh, he was a B.Ed. student here. And then he had some issues and he wanted to leave the course. I was new in the campus. I had come from a state university. I said, together we'll do a journey. Let's try for one year. If both of us can't do, I will get back to my old university. You can also get back to your <laughs> Bihar. Let's start a journey. And sir, I'm happy to say he's part of our teaching fraternity today. He is posted in CTE Darbanga. So I think there, this is just few stories, sir. Each of us, I think every day we are coming across kids who sometimes call me Didi to Maji to Masi to something. They are so very nice. And uh, we also build up such a relationship that uh, we are friends for life. And I know at the back of me, there are at least 50 students who will stand up when I need them. So th that is our so story, sir. And also adding about NEP, sir. Yes, we are running the NEP program. And I thank you for giving us the opportunity, sir. The ITAP, four-year ITAP program, we she have is, started. She is member of uh, NCTE also. Oh. Yes, sir. The SRC, sir. I have yeah. just joined. Very good. Very good. Thank uh, you, sir. Professor Salma yes, Ahmed Farwati, please uh, be brief. Uh, she is director of Deccan Studies. Check. So I work with the Center for Deccan Studies at Manu, and it's a multidisciplinary center. It is uh, one of its kind in the whole of India because uh, we deal with the entire Deccan, that is five states of Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Maharashtra, uh, and Goa. And we focus on a uh, lot of issues which deal with uh, Andhra, Telangana. Andhra, Telangana, Maharashtra, Karnataka, and Goa. Achha. This is Central India. Just so this is entirely what we focus on and we deal with the host of issues related to these five states and recently from past two years we have started our phd program and uh, it was very nice of the vice chancellor to have pushed through to have got a phd started at manu in deccan studies so deccan studies with the phd program has become a recognized subject in its own way and then we have a number of students who have registered for PhD, and many of them are very uh, uh, enthusiastic about the fact that they are working in, De in the area of Deccan studies. It, because it is so far, it hasn't been a recognized subject as such. So 
if you look at NEP, we are the center who have been working in the field of multidisciplinary studies from the past few years. And our center entirely focuses on a number of issues ranging from natural sciences to social sciences to other subjects, to, to literature, everything. And right now, we are fo trying to focus on a combination of heritage and artificial intelligence. We have signed an MOU with the IIT Hyderabad. And in this context, we are going to hopefully uh, start something, an initiative a museum, which will be based on artificial intelligence, highlighting the entire culture and heritage of the Deccan. Thank you. Uh, I mean, day before yesterday, she organized one day seminar hmm. on maritime outlook. Okay. Yeah. okay. And one more, you know, Professor yes. Razaullah is, you know, director of distance education. So we we'll, would we'll like to hear from him. Okay. Good evening, sir. We have the distance education program being run in length and breadth of the country. We have 15 different centers through which we are reaching to the students. On roll, we have almost 40,000 students right now. And the ratio, what Dr. Izvan was referring, it was 40-60. For us, it is 45-55. Mm -hmm. So more than, I mean, say, more than the regular one. Second very important thing, last year, one of our students who completed MA with us got the award from the President of India. And now he is on the of President of, of India, India for the Achha, best teacher. He is from Ladakh. And for innovative ideas in teaching in English, he got the award for. Now, right now, he is on the roles of the Monadrat University with us. In which? He university? is in education now. Achha. In which university now? In our university. No, 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 no. university. After completion of his graduation, he joined here. He did his post-graduation from distance education. Good. Then did his, I mean, say, further education and then got the opportunity to work as prof uh, assistant professor last year. Thank you. And mm -hmm. one more from translation studies, you know, <laughs> Professor Mubashir is here. Please. I am really <laughs> astonished that, <laughs> that really this team is a comprehensive and united one. Yes. Usually what happens, I have seen, whenever I ask this uh, type of questions, faculty raises that I want to speak. But I am really astonished how the VC has come to know that such such professor can speak. <laughs> 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 and question was not out before. <laughs> I have not, I have not <laughs> narrated, I have not at all narrated <laughs> that I can ask this kind of question. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Uh, Professor Mubashir. Uh, I to I will talk in Urdu. Uh, yes. Yes. Let me, <coughs> may bhi koshis karunga. Aap, Otherwise, uh, I can shuni, speak shuni, with you. I will talk to you in Urdu. I will talk to you in Urdu. How should it be in Urdu? Easy. It is so easy and how should it be in Urdu? Easy. उसको एक्सप्रेशन के साथ ठीक होना चाहिए आई विल ट्राई आप एक्सप्रेशन जैसे ठीक करेंगे ना तो अब से आप सभी ने इंग्लिश में बात की मैं कहानी मैं चाहता हूं कि बोलिए मैं बाद में एक कहानी बताऊंगा छोटा सा कहानी जी जी जो फिल्म के कहानी बताऊंगा जैसे कैसे समझ में आता है बहुत ही शॉर्ट लेकिन एक छोटी सी मैं भी कहानी सुना रहा हूं सर कि 2014 हां 2014 में Urdu? Yes. Urdu. Complete Urdu you need, sir. Yes, I will try. In 2014, my relationship was with one brother and two brothers. Farida and Arisha. They were from Bihar, but they came from Bihar. They came from Bihar. They came from Bihar. They came from Bihar. And they were trying to get into this situation that they came from Urdu University. They came from Urdu University. उन्होंने एमए ट्रांसलेशन में दाखिला लिया और दोनों लड़कियां बहुत डर रही थीं। उन्हें इस बात का कोई तजुर्बा नहीं था कि बाहर निकलकर कैसे रहा जाए। और लिटरली उस वक्त मैंने अपने वालिद साहब, फादर के साथ रिक्वेस्ट की कि मेरी बहनों के साथ इस इन लड़कियों को रखा जाए। खरीबन एक हफ्ता � फिर वो एमए उर्दू किया उसने यहाँ से 
اس نے پی ایچ ڈی کیا اردو میں اور اب بہار کی ایک جھارکھنڈ کی ایک یونیورسٹی میں وہ فی الوقت فیکلٹی کے طور پر اپائنٹ کی گئی ہے اریشا دوسرا چھوٹا ایکسپیرینس سر کہ ہمارا جو سر یہ اردو میں بولی ہاں ایک ہی منٹ میں بول رہا ہوں بیٹر یو سپیک یو نو اے آئی سی ٹی یس ایم ایم سپیکنگ دیٹ اونلی دیٹ از دیٹ از اونلی دوسرا میرا ایکسپیرینس یہ تھا سر کہ اس پوری یونیورسٹی میں اردو فریٹرنیٹی میں سب سے بڑا پرابلم کنٹینٹ کا تھا اور میں جس وقت 2004 میں یہاں پر آیا تو اس وقت انجینئرنگ بھی نہیں تھی یہاں پہ لیکن انجینئرنگ کی اب ہمارے پاس پوری ایک اسٹریم ہے اور دو سال پہلے اس یونیورسٹی کو ایک موقع ملا کہ اے آئی سی ٹی کے ساتھ ہم ایک ایم او کریں اور تقریباً اس وقت 344 بکس کا ٹرانسلیشن ڈائریکٹریٹ آف ٹرانسلیشن اینڈ پبلیکیشن ان کولیبریشن وتھ اے آئی سی ٹی کر رہا ہے آج کی ڈیٹ تک میں نے 23 بکس کمپلیٹ یعنی ود ان اے اسپین آف ٹائم آف نائن منتھس ہم لوگوں نے 23 بکس کمپلیٹ ٹرانسلیشن ریویو کر کے اے آئی سی ٹی کو حوالے کر دی 23 بکس سر ان اردو لینگویج اور میرے پاس اس وقت ٹوٹل 52 بکس ہیں اور 344 بکس کے ساتھ ہم نے کام شروع کیا تھا لیکن لاسٹ ویک ہماری میٹنگ ہوئی تو انہوں نے بتایا کہ یہ پروجیکٹ قریب پانچ سال چلے گا اور ایک ہزار چوالیس ون تھاؤزینڈ فورٹی فور بکس وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹرانسلیٹ سر کچھ کوشچنس اور لے لیں سر نہیں میں اچھا دیکھیے نیشنل ایجوکیشن پالیسی کے جو ملوت بات ہے اس کے انتر آتما یہ ہے ہولسٹک ایجوکیشن ایم آئی رائٹ پہلے کیا ہوتا پریویسلی چلو پڑھو 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 لیکن پڑھنے کا مقصد کیا تھا What is the vision of learning? एक सबके मन में था अच्छी पढ़ाई करो और उसके बाद एक अच्छे नौकरी मिलना चाहिए उसमें कमाई अच्छा हो ये था लेकिन अभी राष्ट्रीय शिक्षा नीति इसमें वो तो होना ही चाहिए لیکن اس کے ساتھ ساتھ ان کو من میں ایک ویژن دینا بھی ہمارا کام ہے وہ ویژن کیا ہے ہم نے جو پڑھائی کرتے ہیں اس میں کس کو سہایتا ملتا ہے یہ سارے اسٹوڈنٹ کا اندر اس کا انوبھو ہونا چاہیے دے شوڈ فیل اٹ starting from their parents, their villagers, چاہے وہ فارمر ہو چاہے وہ کوبلر ہو چاہے ہو کوئی بھی سماج کے جو نرماتا ہے تو ان کو جس کا رین سے ہم لوگ آگے بڑھ رہے ہیں وہ رین کو واپس دینا یہ ہے ہولسٹک ایجوکیشن یو اگریڈ آن دیٹ تو اس کے بارے میں ہم بچے کو ساتھ کس پرکار سے انٹریکٹ کر سکتے ہیں اس کا اٹیچمنٹ ود دا پیرنٹس آپ نے دیکھا ہے شاید آج کل دھیرے دھیرے کم ہو رہا ہے کوئی باہر چلا گیا سم بڈی ایس گن آؤٹ آف دا کنٹری پیتا ماتا کو کوئی تکلیف ہوتا ہے تھوڑا پیسہ بھیج دیتے ہیں ان کا دیہانت ہوتا ہے تو آنے کا سمائی نہیں ہوتا اس پرکار کے چیز شاید آپ نے بھی دیکھا ہے از اٹ ٹرو کوئی جگہ میں اس کو سال میں اینول انکم پچیس لاکھ کوئی جگہ میں شی از گیٹنگ ٹوینٹی فائیو پوائنٹ فائیو لیکس شی از لیونگ دا جاب اس کا اوپر آپ کا کچھ رائے ہے 
बच्चे के साथ कैसे डील करेंगे कैसे मोटिवेट कर सकते हैं ये घटना कम हुआ लेकिन हाउ यू वी कैन मोटिवेट द बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स गुड इवनिंग सर आई एम द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ आईटीआई सर आईटीआई से हूँ सर मैं एक्चुअली यहाँ पर जो है सो आईटीआई में फर्स्ट जनरेशन लर्नर्स आते हैं सर तो यहाँ पर जो है सो जब बच्चे आए थे सर यहाँ पर एक एक इंसिडेंस सुनाती हूँ सर मैं एक्चुअली यहाँ पे इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मैकेनिक में एक लड़का था सर जो आया था मैडम हम नहीं कर सकते हैं ये कोर्स हमसे नहीं होगा मेरे पास उतने टाइम नहीं है मैं जो जो है सो जॉब पर जाना रहता है मैडम इस तरीके के सवाल करे तो और सर यहाँ पर हमारी यूनिवर्सिटी में आई कोर्स के लिए ज़ीरो फीस है सर जीरो फीस नो फीस इज चार्ज वी आर थैंकफुल टू अवर हायर हायर अथॉरिटीज की आई टी आई स्टूडेंट्स के लिए जीरो फीस है सर तो वो लड़का जब आया सर तो हमने बताया कि नहीं बेटा आप कोशिश तो करो आने की यू ट्राई योर बेस्ट तो वो लड़का जो है सो जब माना है तो उसको हमने शाम के टाइम पर जो है सो जॉब जाने के लिए परमिशन दिया है शाम में जो है सो मोबाइल फ़ोन का जो है सो रिपेयरिंग करने के लिए जा रहा था सर तो अब उसका न सर He is earning around sixty thousand rupees per month on a mobile shop. अपना self entrepreneurship जो है तो खोला है सर. उसके parents भी आके मिले सर. They are very happy. So this is one of the incidents from the ITI. Not only this sir, many students are there of ITI who are first generation learners and they are doing their own entrepreneurship sir. Thank you sir. Good. That's very good. Sir, I am Dr. Muhammad Yusuf Khan. I am basically principal polytechnic, and I am principal uh, polytechnic college. Polytechnic. We have a polytechnic, and moreover, I am uh, training and placement officer of this university for the last four years. Sir, I will directly answer to your questions. Uh, you referred to the holistic development of uh, students. Um, basically, the biggest challenge for this university was the placement because there are um, uh, uh, various types of uh, five, seven schools, 19 departments, and 73 courses are there, uh, ranging from journalism to management to technology to we have uh, education. So you will be surprised to know that so initially they were very um, ma many companies they said they were reluctant to take our students because of the language. We have the Urdu language, so I wrote. to thousand companies mncs i have taken with great difficulty their uh, email id because hr person they will not show their email ids so i have uh, mailed to them i have posted uh, letters to them then today the condition the situation is sir uh, rather than the our students going abroad there are four more than 400 students are placed in government of bihar as je in civil engineering and uh, electrical engineering and here uh, this university is in the uh, heart of it hub wherein our students the the it companies faxet company that is the uh, uh, finance and accounting company they uh, they prefer our students rather than other, other colleges and moreover uh, chennai based company uh, they have given students to our just freshers pass out students um, job offers and to the uh, uh, students who are going to pass out in 2024 that means 9 9 months before they have given job offers to our student this is the scenario sir the change in paradigm wherein last 4 5 years the companies were reluctant now mnc com companies are in pipeline to take our students so because of of the holistic development we are concentrating concentrating not only on the yeah, placements we are concentrating on the pre placements best practices we are engaging we have the counselors in the university we motivate the students we take their uh, advices we have the interdisciplinary courses the students because of the uh, nep they can uh, take their other courses in the other uh, subjects for example Inter engineering student can take a subject in socials so they have the liberty to take the other courses because of this sir, the students have developed their communication skills and the companies are placing them sir. thank you it's good uh, you have told about the change of scenario in placement but uh, at the same time you have told very nicely and well i am asking on this kind of transformation what i have told ye hum kaise k 
कर सकते हैं ये शुरुआत शायद अभी अभी हुआ है लेकिन ये हम कैसे बच्चे को साथ बात कर सकते हैं हाउ आई कैन वी कैन एक्सप्रेस इंडिविजुअल टीचर इन ए क्लास दैट ही शुड पे रिटर्न टू हीज और हार पेरेंट्स विलेजेस एंड नादर्स दिस कम्युनिकेशन स्टाइल आई वुड लाइक टू हैव फ्रॉम यू ऐसा कोई दिक्कत नहीं है ऐसा हो सकता है एकदम ये नया क्वेश्चन है नमस्कार सर हम कुछ भी किया है कुछ भी करने वाला है लेकिन मन में आप सबको अंदर ये एक प्रश्न जैसे घूमते रहे इसलिए मैंने कहा सो दैट इट शुड बी सर्कुलेटेड इन योर माइंड मैडम हैव आई टोल्ड राइट नमस्कार सर हमारे एन ई पी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी का मेंबर भी हमारे वाइस अभी ट्राइबल यूनिवर्सिटी वाइस चांसलर कटे में निशा हमारे हिंदी डिपार्टमेंट का फाउंडर हेड सर हम वी आर कमिंग फ्रॉम तेलुगु क्षेत्र से लेकिन हिंदी पढ़ा रहे आ, और ऑनरेबल वाइस चांसलर साहब आने के बाद एनईपी की ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी की वजह से तेलुगु डिपार्टमेंट भी शुरू हो गए सर तेलंगाना में आंध्रा में रह कर भी और एस सी लोगों को भी विदाउट उर्दू नॉलेज पहले एडमिशन दिला रहे बाद में अभी ट्रेनिंग भी दे रहा है सर हमारी यूनिवर्सिटी में इस तरह हमारे यूनिवर्सिटी में एक साहब आने के बाद कुछ चल रहे सब सब हैप्पी सर थैंक यू सर प्रोफेसर मुशाहिद लाइक टू से समथिंग एक्चुअली पॉसिबली सॉरी आई एम थिंकिंग आई एम ए बैड टीचर लेट मी लेट मी एक्सप्लेन एक्चुअली हैव आई एक्सप्लेन प्रॉपरली व्हाट आई वुड लाइक टू नो should i repeat once once again once again i think it should be repeated once ye koi this is not written in any book if we read the introductory part of the nep in the first four pages it has been written and specially on the para there is on previous before the previous policy one stanza is there and from which we can get some idea and which can be uh, described which can be emerged properly what we should do to maine kahta hu jo pehle हमारे पढ़ाई का मकसद था केवल कमाई जैसे बहुत सारे लोग जब लेक्चर देते थे उसके अंदर कहते हैं हमारे जुबा का क्या विजन है वो कहते हैं एक बीवी नहीं तो एक हस्बैंड दो बच्चे और तीन कमरे के एक फ्लैट और फोर एक फोर व्हीलर दिस इज द विजन ऑफ ए यूथ कोई जुबा नहीं तो कोई युवती को ऐसे मकसद लेकिन इससे दूर करना चाहिए नॉट ओनली दैट ये तो होगा दिस इज द ऑटोमेटिक इन द कोर्स ऑफ लाइफ ये छोड़कर इसके अतिरिक्त क्या होना चाहिए इसके बारे में हम लोग कैसे उनको मोटिवेट करेंगे जी गुड इवनिंग सर हमारे मैं इस सर ये मानू में एक जो आप कह रहे हैं होलिस्टिक डेवलपमेंट और पर्सनालिटी के तल्लुक से प्रोफेसर ऑफ इस्लामिक स्टडीज यहाँ पे सर हम लोग मॉरलिटी की टीचिंग एंड टीचिंग ऑफ इंडियन कल्चर एंड रिलीजन भी करते हैं अंडर ग्रेजुएट क्लासेस में भी और पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट क्लासेस में भी उनकी उनकी वो मतलब पर्सनलिटी डेवलपमेंट के तौर पर जैसे का भाई फरमा रहे थे मतलब मैन मतलब वी आर ह्यूमन बींग वी आर स्पिरिचुअल बींग इन ह्यूमन बींग 
so we inculcate in the students the morality also to take care of their parents their society their country and affinity with them also so these uh, moral teaching also uh, going on in manu in undergraduate classes as well as postgraduate classes okay fine one mera ek dusre ek thoda tips deta hu dekhi hamari bharat india ek aisa desh hai ऐसे कंट्री है इनका बहुत लंबा एक हेरिटेज है इनका नॉलेज की भंडार नॉलेज की ट्रेजर बहुत बड़ा वो जिस सब्जेक्ट में आप जाने चाहते हैं उसी में भी आप उसी पर वर्क कर सकते हैं चाहे वो मैथमेटिक्स हो चाहे वो एस्ट्रोनॉमी हो चाहे फिजिक्स हो चाहे केमिस्ट्री हो मैथमेटिक्स हो चाहे सोशल साइंसेस हो चाहे इन साइंस में एग्रीकल्चर भी हो और सोशल साइंस के अंदर भी जितने सारे हैं पॉलिटिकल साइंस हर चीज़ में तो इसके कुछ ट्रेजर हमको भी थोड़ा जानना चाहिए एक इंडियन नॉलेज सिस्टम को जैसे इंडियन नॉलेज सिस्टम में देखिए जो साइंस के बारे में आप थोड़ा वर्क करेंगे तो इसमें देखिए जो हमारी जो आर्थ आर्थ इज मूविंग द सन मूविंग अराउंड द सन ये हम मॉडर्न साइंस के बारे में सोचेंगे तो बिफोर केपलर टिल कोपरनिकस मैंने केपलर केम इन द अर्ली सेवेंटीन सेंचुरी एंड बिफोर केपलर दे टोल्ड दैट इज अ पाथ इज ए सर्कुलर वन बट एट दैट टाइम फ्यू थाउजेंड इयर्स बैक फ्रॉम इंडियन दे टोल्ड दिस इज इलिप्टिकल Similarly, the velocity of light, it was mentioned, and according to that sloka, it is one lakh eighty five thousand sixteen miles per second. And now, if we calculate, it comes as one lakh eighty six thousand miles per second. The difference is very little, if we take on the percentage basis. If we think about the pi. If pi was not discovered, then so many calculations it would be very difficult. And how the value of pi at that time, few thousand years back, similarly, so many things. Even how the underneath the soil, where water can be available, this was also true at that time. How the ship can be built, all these. to our students should have some respect on this and at the same time our student have to make in such a way they should have the respect and love to their parents to their villagers and all kinds of societal people that we should do. and only you have come here in these institutions only your fees is not suffice that we can tell them everybody's contribution is for you and those who are helping you it is your duty to give it back in some way not every day but and at the same time my request is this Yes, Zair has spoken very nicely about the moral, but we have seen previously in in the previous education policy there was one class for moral, but moral, if we take a class only, that will remain within the class and for the examination of that, that is also required, sir. 
बट दिस मॉरल शुड बी टॉट बाई एवरी वन इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ एवरी टाइम इफ यू आर एग्रीड टू और इफ यू आर नॉट एग्रीड यू कैन टेल मी एंड दिस इज टू बी इंजेक्टेड Sir, if I am wrong, you can tell. I should make it clear. Here is, you know, from social inclusion and in exclusion, P. H. Muhammad Sahab, Professor P. H. Muhammad. Uh, be brief, please, sir. Yeah, uh, Honorable Minister, uh, like uh, the way the new education policy 2020 contributes to social transformation is numerous. In the way that, you know, there is a change in the pattern, and. Uh, the socialization that the family has to take care of and the uh, you know culture that has to be taught in the schools because at uh, th this has to uh, change the total pattern of the structure that up to 5 years then 7 years or 12 years like this so this is one thing then higher education in higher education what should be the uh, you know educational levels of the uh, learners and also Uh, you know the mother tongue education as we have discussed so far all these factors all these provisions that uh, which have been provided in the new education policy 2020 has made made this new education policy 2020 to be very historical in the sense that the contribution it is making has not been uh, there in the history so far this is my opinion sir has told very nicely this is the very very important part has been taken care of possibly in our countries different stories in mahabharata there is a story that abhimanyu he when he was in mother's womb he listened up to entering the chakravuha mm -hmm. but the rest of the part he could not listen because her mother slept it was known by the so many persons that it's a gossip it's a, but now you will believe that all the pediatrician they are telling that children when they are in the mother's womb they can listen if you ask me being a gynecologist and i am also a sonologist also and i myself saw in 4d picture that baby is baby sometimes laughs baby sometimes cries within the mothers and taking consideration of all these things in national education policy and another thing is human development of brain the basic development of the brain not the informative development different cognitive development and at the same time different define different types of emotional attachment emotional uh, applications all it these 80% of those are being developed within 8 years of age and considering this the early childhood care have been taken that is a 3 plus 2 from the th third year up to 3 plus 2 this is up to plus 2 and naturally we have taken care of these it is a uh, the in the school teachers they have the duties and Uh, bal batika and all these are being taken but in higher education we have to also to continue all these things this is very important then i can tell one thing if you are if you agree 
एक विषय हम लोग कह सकते हैं बच्चे को कोई सब्जेक्ट में तो होता है अच्छे प्लेसमेंट होता है अच्छी कमाई होता है बट इफ वी ऑल द टीचर्स एडवाइज दम दट बी सक्सेसफुल बट इन योर लाइफ Do not run after the money. And if you can tell confidently, that in my life I have observed the persons who runs after the money, they cannot be successful. Who does not run after money, usually. मनी अल्टीमेटली रन आफ्टर देम एंड द लास्ट एंड द लास्ट सेंटेंस नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस इज दिस दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वन द मनी इज रनिंग आफ्टर यू देन इफ यू कैन टेक द अमाउंट विच इट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर यू for the maintenance of your life and to make the nature sustainability your required amount of money only you can take then you will be the happiest person in the world isko baar baar hum kahenge to kam se kam 10 se 2 bacche ke andar to aa jayega sahi और ये निश्चित होना चाहिए समाज में सौ के अंदर दो आदमी परफेक्ट बन जाएगा तो सारे समाज को लीड कर सकते हैं वी आर द टीचर वी आर द बेस्ट पर्सन इन द कंट्री समाज को आगे लेने के लिए समाज देश को तैयार करने के लिए ठीक है टीचर ट्रेनिंग कॉलेज से नॉन टीचिंग स्टाफ हैं लास्ट में प्लीज आप बोलिए जरा हमें कोलकाता है चिल्लाम तीन बच्चर अवर यूनिवर्सिटी इज मल्टी लिंगुअलिज्म सर डू यू वांट टू स्पीक इन बंगाली हमें कोटा बोलते हैं वाली सर बाग बागाले बोलते हैं एवरीबॉडी विल अंडरस्टैंड नोबडी विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई नॉट देखिए बहुत एकदम धीरे धीरे बोलिए सब समझ लेंगे एकदम अवर यूनिवर्सिटी बाद में ऐसा कुछ शब्द लगाइए जिससे नहीं हो तो उसमें इंग्लिश जोड़ दीजिए देखिए एवरीबॉडी विल अंडरस्टैंड लेट अस ठीक है ये मल्टीलिंग्वेलिज्म का एक परीक्षा होता है मेरा भी बता दू Uh, is most important in uh, correcting uh, Urdu medium of uh, uh, Madrasa school people. We are. थोड़ा धीरे. हाँ. धीरे बोलिए. Sir, uh, as per the bandit of the university, <coughs> we are to promote and develop. नहीं 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 नहीं. Bangla. Bangla तो बोलते बोले. Bangla बोलो Bangla. Bangla. अच्छा. जो शब्द हो. ठीक है जी. लगता है नहीं समझेंगे. उसको हिंदी बोल दीजिए. नहीं तो Urdu बोल दीजिए. मेरा भी परीक्षा हो जाएगा हमारे यूनिवर्सिटी खाने बेसिकली आचे उर्दू डेवलपमेंट है जनो सो मदरसा स्कूल ऑफ एजुकेशन जे जे आचे उधर हाईर एजुकेशन पाचना वो टा पाव जनो हमारे इक्वलेंस कमिटी आचे खाने जेटा दिए इक्वलेंस स्लो आई टू स्लो हाँ इक्वलेंस कमिटी आचे खाने जेटा हमारे मदरसा स्कूल ऑफ एजुकेशन के टेंथ इक्वलेंट दिए जाए टेन प्लस टू दिए जाए वो वो जन कि बाचारा हायर एडुकेशन पढ़ते सो हमारे यूनिवर्सिटी इज बेसिकली टेकिंग पीपल टू हायर एडुकेशन जरा जरा हायर एडुकेशन पा हायर एडुकेशन नहीं जा Good. Then, then we are bringing them to mainstream of higher education. Possibly everybody has understood. Understood. Huh? Understood. 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 Understood.
Good evening, sir. I don't know whether we should share, going to the first question, what you were raising. Uh, this is so personal to us. We have students from very poor background. And uh, many students were going without ability to pay the fees. Sir, it is so personal. I don't think one should share it. But I opened my doors. Five students came home. They stayed till they completed the course. This is first thing what we did give back to the society because God has given you. And we wanted to promote education. Now those girls are settled doing something or the other in their villages. This has helped. We do a hand holding in our department. Lot of students, we do help collect money from the various sources and our own. And we pay fee. We have very great uh, what department of women education, plus center for women studies. And we both are doing. For sake of, you know, like, I have adopted, I can say it's a loaded word, two row, you know, slums here. We are working for their health against the violence. And state government has funded us. We are working for them. They want to give us, you know, feedback, how to improve the policies of the government. State government is very particular. Women and child department. So the report is ready. I'm going within a couple of days. They may expect it is for me. how many years? It is for one year they have given us. They said this is a pilot project. They said you do on violence, but we also want on Angalwadi workers, schools. <coughs> this I wanted to raise one question to you particularly, sir. Have we in NEP given any importance to the Anganwadi schools? I tell you, very, very bad in this condition. Not a single class was conducted during our survey. Not, not a, a single, single class. Not a single class? Was conducted for the small preschool boys and girls. You know, five to six years, they learn like 50% of learning happens for the preschool level. And classes are not conducted because the Anganwadi teacher has a lot of other tasks to do. Very bad situation. We don't have any women to go and, you know, report for the violence. Police station is not the place because the women will not be able to lead a normal life. So we wanted, we are recommending one stop center to be established in all the slums, at least four to six slums and all. So university is giving back to society when it comes to gender, you know, uh, what you call issues, women development. We have a lot of students coming from very humble background. We are trying to give them, you know, like such topics which rather sensitize them, give back to the society, develop them, and then they become really strength. You know, we give them the strength, empower them at our own level. We are still doing it. We see to it that NGOs we call and then place them. Like today, I sent another. Day before yesterday, I sent two girls. They are on the job offline. When they go back to our hostels, they are working because they have to earn their fees. Whatever possible we are doing, uh, you know, to encourage, because this is one of the greatest agenda of this university, to increase uh, the level of education among the women. Not only education, we are going back to the society, adopting slums, working in the rural areas, digitization through this was the first project in the university I started. Uh, unfortunately, only 50% I could get. I had adopted three villages, half done. We wanted to teach those bahus of those families to learn 
and then university should act like you know a sort of resources for information giving to them i wanted all the departments of social sciences to involve in that our students should go back to the society collect the needs and then we university pay. we have a server through that we can give the information but unfortunately we don't have the funds from you oh, no, no, right. this is one thing okay. thank you so much please 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 be stamped <laughs> i'm very happy that you have thought these serious issues but at the same time as because you are a faculty of a university at your home you please imagine yourself how this can be solved this is a very important issue very important issue <coughs> and it is to be solved yeah. considering in your mind in this way government is also like this <coughs> but there are many things when we think of that number 1 is we have to think about the expenses we can calculate the expenses how there are 7500 blocks in the country in a block how many anganwadis are there yeah. how many primary schools are there to set all these what is the unit cost of each one what is my imagination we have to think of this yes and the running cost of each one at the same time we have to think about the country's budget and centers budget and the state budget at the same time we have to think about the education budget from the education department and there are some other ministry also spent for the education that also we can consider and at the same time if we consider the school of waste sometimes some social researcher they give the comparison of school in uk school in norway especially norway give you an example of norway. and the status of that country how the country is running there the different kinds of schemes they don't need to run every day many there is a free ration awash whatever that we have to think at the same time we may consider that our countries the people unka jo ability ye bhi thoda pehle se badh raha hai kya nahi aur usi ability se wo samaj ke liye kitne spend karte hai isko bhi sochna chahiye isi soch ke if we consider on the iske rasta nikalna chahiye to main bhi kaha tha theek hai na to सरकार ने इट्स वेरी मच अवर ऑन दैट आई एम सीरियसली आई एम थिंक आई एम टेलिंग यू एंड अभी अभी एक विद्यांजलि नाम से एक पोर्टल भी चालू हुआ 
वेदांजलि ये बताने के समय मेरा रमटक खराब हो गया तो वेदांजलि पोर्टल वो एक ऐसा पोर्टल है जिसमें कोई विद्यालय उनका क्या रिक्वायरमेंट है वो देख सकता है और कोई देने वाला वो भी उनको रजिस्टर कर सकता है जस्ट लाइक शादी डॉट कॉम ये शुरुआत हो गया आई एम टेलिंग यू एग्जाम्पल सो मेनी एग्जाम्पल्स यू हैव टोल्ड फ्रॉम बिहार एंड झारखंड आई वेंट टू बिहार इन बेगूसराय डिस्ट्रिक्ट तो वहाँ इसके ऊपर कुछ बातचीत भी हुआ सर ये सरकारी अधिकारी प्रिंसिपल सबको लेकर भी मैं बताया बेगूसराय mm-hmm. तो बेगूसराय वो हमारे एस्पिरेशन डिस्ट्रिक्ट तो उनका भी एक अवार्ड मिला दे आर डूइंग गुड बहुत सारे स्कूल में वो विद्यांजलि पोर्टल से बहुत कुछ हो रहा है लेकिन वेरी वी शुड एवरी वन थिंक फॉर दैट डॉक्टर वेरी नाइसली अंगनवाड़ी को लाइब्रेरियन विश टू हियर फ्रॉम डॉक्टर अख्तर परवेज गुड इवनिंग सर थैंक यू सर फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी सो विद रिगार्ड टू सर योर क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग यू नो इनकल्केटिंग दोज वैल्यूज एक्सेट्रा इन आर चिल्ड्रेन आई थिंक फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट इट कम्स फ्रॉम योर होम दैट इज नंबर वन now i don't think sir that by teaching ethics we can make people ethical i think it is uh, uh, the actions which will inspire students because as you know uh, our actions speak uh, louder than our words so i think it is uh, we who have to make a difference by you know uh, by inspiring students by our actions that we do that is one because i don't think that uh, this morality ethics etc can be taught in a class it can be provided the teacher is able to inspire students by his action that is number one uh, number two sir uh, because i am a librarian here so uh, i must talk about libraries so what we uh, see sir that uh, there are very few public libraries in uh, in our country now for example in this area also in you know, gachi bauli area there are no public good public libraries or no public libraries in fact but we give uh, whenever you know i get a request from our locality so i always allow them to use our library a uh, same thing actually i come from delhi so i live in jamia nagar area so there also sir there is no library in the whole area and uh, now what this has resulted into people starting libraries on payment you know they are charging a fee and the students are going there is studying there so my request a very humble request to you is that if you can look into this public libraries issue uh, that would really uh, be helpful to us thank you sir we are we are very much uh, serious on this issue and at the same time now the promotion of books through national book trust it has been done and at the same time we also should know that education is a state part is very very important part state's role is also very important but jointly we are trying to do this thank you very much professor pradeep kumar Uh, from computer sciences uh, i think namaskar sir uh, i am from computer science and uh, i think we are the only university in the country providing btech in the urdu medium language and the best challenge and the the most of challenge uh, with us before us ki hum sir उर्दू में भी पढ़ाना होता है उनको एंड मटेरियल इज नॉट अवेलेबल सो टेक्निकली वी आर हेल्पिंग देम एंड एज फर एज इंडिविजुअली सक्सेस स्टोरी नहीं है मेरे पास बट मेनी स्टूडेंट्स दे आर वर्किंग इन द कॉर्पोरेट अदर उर्दू बुक्स उर्दू मीडियम में बुक्स अवेलेबल हो गया ना बुक्स है सर हम वी वी प्रोवाइड आवर ओन यू नो लाइक मोनोग्राम मटेरियल्स हैंड रिटेन ना उर्दू बुक्स तो आ गया ना 
टेक्नोलॉजिकल इंटरवेंशन टू द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स टेक्नोलॉजी टू दिस ई गवर्नेंस डिपार्टमेंट थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर दिस सलमान साहब एक साइंस स्कूल है सर माई सेल्फ महमूद काजमी हेड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ट्रांसलेशन स्टडीज डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ट्रांसलेशन स्टडीज सर राइट सर बहुत ही अच्छी बातें आपने की और हमें बताया और मॉरल टीचिंग और उस पर उसके सिलसिले में मैं एक बात ज़रूर कहना चाहूँगा जस्ट आई वॉन्ट टू स्पीक कि एक्चुअली हमारे यहाँ जो पेरेंट्स हैं वो बच्चों को बचपन से ही बताते हैं कि तुम्हें इसको करना चाहिए एंड देयर इज़ अ बिग पैकेज फॉर यू सो वो जहन वहाँ से बनता है इवन सर यूनिवर्सिटीज़ में भी आप प्लेसमेंट सेल्स होने लगे हैं तो इट्स अ गुड साइड ऑफ द एंड ब्राइट साइड ऑफ द पिक्चर ऑल्सो लेकिन इसके भी कुछ अपने अलग वो हैं कि हम ये समझते हैं कि पढ़ने का मतलब सिर्फ वी हैव टू अर्न द मनी इन अवर फ्यूचर तो मुझे लगता है कि कुछ ऐसी चीज़ें शामिल की जाएं कि जिसमें हम उन बच्चों को एक प्रोग्राम दें कि वो हमें एक होमवर्क के तौर पे उन्हें दें असाइनमेंट के तौर पे कि वो बताएं कि व्हाट इज़ योर प्रोग्राम फॉर योर कंट्री व्हाट इज़ योर प्रोग्राम फॉर योर फैमिली एंड व्हाट इज़ योर प्रोग्राम फॉर योर विलेज एंड टाउन तो दैट इज़ आई थिंक अ गुड आइडिया तो दे कैन प्रोवाइड द प्रोग्राम तो एटलीस्ट वी शुड नो दैट वॉट दे हैव इन देयर माइंड आपको मैं एक कहानी बोलता है सलमान साहब आ गया तो मैंने एक केंद्रीय विद्यालय में गए थे तो वहाँ बच्चे को पूछा अब क्या बन सकते हैं कोई ने डॉक्टर कोई ने टीचर कोई ने नर्स कोई आई एस आई पी एस ऐसे तो मैंने बहुत अच्छा एकदम ऐसे करके बहुत तेज से बताया तो देन आई आस्ट इफ यू गेट योर एनुअल इनकम अबाउट फिफ्टीन लैक्स व्हाट यू विल डू इन द फास्ट ईयर्स इनकम अपने जो कहा वेरी नाइसली दो तीन बच्चे का सर आई विल डू फॉर माई पेरेंट्स बट एट द सेम टाइम इन माई विलेज देर इज कैर सिटी ऑफ वाटर सर आई विल सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम दिस वे वी कैन इंस्पायर राइट यूर गुड इवनिंग सर डीन स्कूल ऑफ साइंस दिस इज प्रोफेसर सलमान डीन स्कूल ऑफ साइंस सर वी ऑनरेबल वाइस चांसलर के प्रजेंस में अभी यहाँ पे स्कूल ऑफ साइंस में मास्टर प्रोग्राम भी अभी स्टार्ट हुआ है और जो वोकेशनल प्रोग्राम बीएससी वी वॉक इन इमेजिंग टेक्नोलॉजी एंड मेडिकल लैब टेक्नोलॉजी में वी हैव स्टार्टेड वी हैव आल्सो स्टार्टेड द एमएससी प्रोग्राम इन लैब टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इमेजिंग टेक्नोलॉजी वी हैव ऑल्सो स्टार्टेड द पी एच सर एंड लास्ट ईयर वन ऑफ आवर डिपार्टमेंट स्टूडेंट्स ही गॉट द अपॉर्चुनिटीज Uh, in usa in uh, michigan state yeah. university as a post doc fellow and all the faculties are they are doing research we have at present 50 research scholar and they have a good output tell us something about a recently you know the project awarded to you yeah recently i got the uh, award i am the in the world top 2% scientist the list is uh, oh yeah uh, Is University of Saint Ford generates uh, one list that is world top two percent science scientist. Oh. I am in the list. Very good. Please repeat one second your name. Uh, Professor Salman Ahmed Khan. Okay, last one. 
controller of examination is waiting for his turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. very important. <laughs> <laughs> Namaskar. Uh, my name is Mohammad Zahir Hussain. I'm the controller of examination here. You talked about ABC ID. Actually, we have implemented this ABC. And the basic problem we are having in the uh, our distance education learners, so they are having difficulties in creating their ABC ID because it's linked with Aadhaar card. And the uh, Aadhaar card linking that requires a registered mobile number also for the DigiLocker to register themselves. So normally the students that are coming, they either don't have the uh, original uh, mobile numbers that was associated for with this uh, Aadhaar card. So we are f facing a bit of problems in getting the ABC ID uh, uh, created for those kind of students. For regular students, we have updated our certificates also on the DG lockers, and we are uh, sending the verified documents from there. And this is, uh, that means, so far I have understood in your word, that is a, everybody's other card is not linked up with the mobile number. Yeah. It has not yet been completed. Yes. This is the problem. No? Particularly in the distance education where we do ah, that, that I have understood. Yeah. That I have understood. Yes, sir. If you mention the areas, we can take care of this. Hmm? Okay. What are the areas from which? Then we can tell them in different post offices. We do it. Uh, sir, on behalf of university, once again, we thank you for taking time from your busy schedule and uh, enriching us on this uh, very important topic of NEP. And I thank all the staff members uh, who uh, stayed uh, uh, in this conversation. And uh, I'm sure this is going to be very, very useful uh, in future in implementing uh, NEP at this campus. Thank you so much.